The powerful eruption in the Reckonus Peninsula of the Swartzengi volcanic system in the Grindavik Rift Valley of Iceland has stabilized itself now to a certain level. We had a flow of the magma in the initial stage up to 1,500 cubic meters of the lava per second. It seems now we have a slight reduction, and like you can see it here. I mean, speeding up this four times. This one just shows that the wall collapsed also. And then, as there, we have some reduction in the amount of the visible lava, although we are seeing a joining wall between the K12 and K1 craters, which is now double craters, has actually increased. We are seeing earthquakes. These are tremors which are actually blocking the passage and maybe are related to the closure of the uh, fissure. As I mentioned in the previous video, the closure of fissure is happening. The Green W Rift Valley is slightly coming together, snapping back. We have a lot of gas pollution. This is from the uh, 30th, as you can see. Also, we have uh, sulfur particles. These are the actual elemental sulfur uh, spreading through the atmosphere in the Iceland. And uh, we are having gas pollution in the coming days of the weekend, up to the next week probably. And uh, the trace of it, as you can see on this map, will be across the central part, reaching also the uh, capital area of Reykjavik. Uh, we have the Blue Lagoon closure now confirmed. Uh, it will be closed until uh, further announcement. You can look at their website. You can still book but not for now. This is the summary of what the Icelandic Meteorological Office has announced. And it's interesting to know that the town of the Green Village gradually is getting encroached by these lava flows every time there is an eruption. The lava wall gets a little bit you know, higher. We are getting gradually fortified there. And this is a little bit worrying. What's the future for that? I have to discuss this in a future video. At the moment, this is the latest update.